Question number one. Do you have any hidden talents? I can shoot my spit glands manually like a snake. Demonstration. Did it hit the camera? If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go? I would go to my own house alone and have no one bother me for like a week. Heaven. If you were stranded on an island and could only take three objects, what would they be? Um, a full Disney cruise ship, um, the guy in the Mickey Mouse suit for entertainment, and um, a captain to captain the cruise ship. Oh, that's a person. A woman captain, since women are objects. What are your favorite movies of all time? Um, serious answer, Dead Poets Society. Um, also serious answer, the Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Um, make friends with Hank Green. And if you can't make friends, make enemies. Sorry, I got lost in the sauce a little bit. What is your biggest pet peeve? Gum chewers. I hate how people chew gum and think they're attractive. Like in TikTok, I'm yelling. TikTok thirst traps, when the guy is like, I, I wanna rip out my skin. Awful. What is your favorite birthday memory? Um, my very first birthday, one year around the sun. Um, my parents threw a great party for me with all my relatives. I do not remember it. Um, but as I was eating the cake, uh, my parents were taking pictures of me because my lips were all blue and it was hilarious how I was getting it everywhere. Except for the fact that there was no blue frosting on the cake. My lips were blue because they later found out I had a extreme life-threatening fever and they rushed me to the hospital and I did not die. I didn't die on all my other birthdays, but that stands out as the closest call. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? Um, I want to be able to walk through walls like Danny Phantom. Um, you could do so much with it. It's better than being invisible because you can just hide in the walls. There's no, no risk of someone stumbling into you. And if you need a move, you just go through the floor. You're impermeable to damage. And you can like punch a guy when you're in ghost mode and then re-molecularize and then your fist is in his head and he dies. So you also beat the bad guys. I've put too much thought into this. When did you first go viral? I think the beginning of 2019, I got my first million view video that went to like 10 million, I don't know, uh, playing my ukulele. Not my proudest moment. Who were the first creators you followed on social media? What stands out in my mind is Colleen Ballinger, or Miranda Sings. Um, I was extremely a Miranda Sings girl in middle school. I was like, stop it. The most annoying breed, and I was bullied for it, but I was happy. And Colleen made me happy. So thanks, Colleen. I'm funnier because of it today. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? Hopefully not. Um, I can see myself writing, because I'm in college for writing right now. Um, hopefully for either children's animation, adult animation, or like, I think writing for late night would be really cool. Writing jokes in general. Saturday Night Live. I want to be the next SNL cast member. If you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Living. Human. Being. Blonde. I am so down to earth, guys. What is your favorite holiday? Um, the holidays. For the moment Thanksgiving ends, I go bananas and the high does not stop until like January 31st. 
Which people or accounts are your favorite to follow on social media? My favorite TikTok account is my good friend Arbakin, A R B A C N. Um, I love you, Asia, so much. Um, and my favorite person on social media is Ringo Starr, drummer of the Beatles, because the only two words, three words in his vocabulary are peace and love. And he knows nothing else in the English language, and I love to see it. And last but not least, who are your role models? Um, I always say that my number one role model is Jim Henson, the creator of The Muppets. Um, I hope to work in children's animation or TV someday, and he is someone who has inspired not only children, but also generations of the world to come. Also, the introduction of Fraggle Rock into the Soviet Union may have ended the Cold War between the US and Russia, but that's a story for another day. Thanks for watching. Boost my famous birthdays. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.